Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Captain America series wave three of 2016. This is the Abomination Builder figure wave eel figure review. Let's do it. Ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? The fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't quick look at the back of the package this is the lower portion you only need six figures to complete abomination only six figures in the wave here at the upper portion of the package the bio reads powered by strong electrical currents eel uses bursts of electricity to shock his enemies into defeat at eel outside of the package this is how he comes in the package with these uh, little lightning effect hands on uh, but as far and as he does come with two closed fists and the upper torso to complete abomination. What's interesting to note is that he has this uh, extra pair of closed fists and the Electro that we're going to get in the upcoming Space Venom Builder Figure Wave only comes with these little electric hands that you see uh, with uh, Eel. Looks like it's the same accessory, and but they didn't put the closed fist in with Electro, which is really strange. A lot of people have been commenting about that. Uh, on the boards and all over the net as pictures of Electro have surfaced. So uh, that's and pretty weird. Also look at his hands with the electricity surgeon through them. You can see that the purple from his, his gloves is starting to turn and it's sort of turning translucent here. It's a pretty good looking effect uh, the way they painted that. That looks pretty so you decent. You have no clue who this guy is. It's sort of a C-list character, a classic character. He's been part of the Serpent Society. Uh, you see Hasbro is kind of slowly but surely trying to put out that team. We already got Cottonmouth. More recently, he was part of the Serpent Squad or something like that, I think it was called. Yeah, that's correct. The Serpent Squad was a, a little team in the uh, books of Captain America. I believe this was during the time that uh, Bucky was running around as Captain America, maybe right before Captain America came back. I read a little bit of that. I can't really remember. They had uh, Red Skull's daughter uh, heading up that team which I'm surprised we haven't seen as a character yet. I'm, I'm sure we'll see her at some point. But this is the standard Bucky Cat mole, ball joint on the head, ball joint on the shoulder, upper bicep swivel, double jointed, elbow, wrist swivel, a hinge, waist will turn, ab crunch will go down, not too far back. You get the uh, T-joint here, upper thigh rotation. This is really tight, double jointed knee. You get a swivel at the calf. You get a hinge and a pivot. Same thing on both sides as far as the arms and the leg. Uh, as far as the uh, deco goes, um, it's pretty <laughs> pretty basic. Uh, I'm not even sure what look this is for him, if this was the look that he was sporting during the time he was with the Serpent Squad or not. I would assume that this is more modern. I don't I don't even know. Correct me if you can in the comments if you know. I'm sure Glenn Webb knows. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, this is uh, just some uh, purple and, and turquoise. It looks pretty good. Nothing really bleeding into any areas here it's well, like it's said, not the most it. popular character but definitely a great addition to your marvel universe in six inch form i'm always happy to get new characters that we've never received in six inch form and i did go back and actually check to see where i saw him appear in the comic books and uh it was volume five of captain america this is during uh ed brubaker's run when bucky cap was the main focus of the book he was captain america for the book uh, because uh, Steve Rogers was seemingly dead and Red Skull's daughter Sin um, had a little squad the Serpent Squad with uh, Eel and uh, I think King Cobra and maybe like two other people were part of her little squad and she had like assaulted some shield agents and they actually put on their uniforms and I don't know I did read most of this but this was years and years ago so that was the last time that I remember seeing this guy appear in the comic books I'm sure he may have appeared again at some other point but uh, still like I said it's a decent figure uh, not the most popular character but uh, definitely worth it if you're trying to build the abomination builder figure you're gonna need this character no matter what and uh, speaking of which we um, if you're interested in, in getting this set we are actually doing a, a little donation drive right now a little raffle so we can help pay for a couple of costs on our web shop you know we opened up the web shop for uh, sales of action figures a couple of weeks ago so we had all of the most recent waves we sold out of a lot of pre-orders for stuff but the pre-order for this particular wave of Captain America figures that uh, 
uh, that Eel is a part of is up for pre-order right now. The link for that is in the, de in the uh, description or in the underbar. And also you can throw down as little as five bucks for your chance to win a full assortment of the of the wave or all six figures for your chance to uh, get the abomination build a figure so check that out in the underbar and stay tuned for the next uh, uh, couple of reviews from this wave all right y'all peace that's crispy